American Girl, Making a Difference, Stand Up for Justice by Rebecca Mallory, read to you today by Gabby. We can all lend a hand to make things better. When people need help, help them. When you see someone being treated unfairly, speak up. There are many ways for American girls to make a difference. Growing up in 1904, Samantha was an orphan who loved living with her grandmother. They had plenty of money. Unlike Samantha, children whose families were poor had to work. They didn't have nice toys or clothes. Samantha became friends with Nellie, who worked as a servant at the house next door. When Nellie's mother got sick, Nellie was sad. To cheer her up, Samantha gave Nellie her favorite doll, Lydia. Before Nellie met Samantha, she worked in a factory instead of going to school. When Nellie did go to school, she was put into a beginner class with younger kids who teased her. Samantha tutored Nellie to help her move up to the third grade more quickly. Kate grew up during the Great Depression, when many people were struggling to pay for things they needed. When Kit's dad lost his job, she knew she had to help her family. Kit grew vegetables and raised chickens in her backyard. She sold eggs and worked for her grumpy Uncle Hendrix to help her parents pay the bills. She saw that many children were much worse off. Some of them didn't even have coats or shoes. Kit held a drive to collect clothes for needy families in her community. Some people didn't believe that poor people deserved help. So Kit wrote a letter to the newspaper to explain that hard times can happen to anyone and sometimes people need a helping hand to get back on their feet. Kit's letter was printed in the newspaper. Nania grew up in Honolulu during World War II. When Japan attacked the Pearl Harbor Navy base nearby, her life changed. People were afraid there would be more attacks, so schools, stores, and restaurants closed. After the attack, the police and firefighters were very busy. Nania and her mother did their part by making sandwiches for the workers. One of Nania's favorite things to do was dance the hula. She even taught her dogs. One of Nania's favorite things to do was dance the hula. She even taught her dog, Melee, some hula moves. Nania and Melee performed together to cheer up the wounded soldiers. Afterward, Melee greeted the men. Just petting the dog made them feel so much better. Melody grew up in Detroit, Michigan during the Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s. When she saw people speaking out against discrimination, she wanted to join the fight for fairness and equality too. When a bank would hire Melody's older sister Yvonne because she was black, Melody went to the bank and closed her accounts. She told them she didn't want to keep her money at a bank that treated black people unfairly. Melody attended the Walk to Freedom, a march in Detroit. She made a sign that read, Stand Up for Justice, and carried it proudly. After the march, she listened to the civil rights leader, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., give a speech about his dream for equality. Julie grew up in the 1970s, a time when many people stood up for equality. Julie thought things were unfair. She wanted to change them. At school, the coach told Julie she could not join the basketball team because it was only for boys. So Julie started a petition that said, let girls play too and got 150 people to sign it. She brought it to the principal who agreed that girls had the right to play on the team. Julie decided to run for student body president. She asked her friend Joy to run as her vice president. Joy was deaf and some girls were mean to her. They told Julie that she should pick a different running mate. Instead, Julie taught the girls sign language so they could talk to Joy and get to know her. Julie and Joy both won the election. Every girl can help change the world in her own unique way. How do you want to make a difference? The end. We have so much more to learn.